I uh, don't think we're in Kansas anymore, but yes, we are. Uh, it's harvest time, and we're getting ready to go. Uh, I just got here yesterday, driving up here, and uh, um, Kirk's on video. <laughs> anyway, we got to run down and get. Uh, what are we doing? We're going to go get one of the semis from the repair shop. All right, out to the farm today. All right, and. Uh, uh, I thought just real quick, since I just showed up and would talk about harvest this year, how how is harvest going to be? Terrible. No, seriously? Yeah. And we don't have good wheat at all this year. Oh, okay. Remember, what happened? Remember last year we had just great, great wheat? Yep. Because it was we kind had, of a record harvest, wasn't it? Yep, okay. it was. We had good moisture in the fall of 18 when we planted it. Uh -huh. We had good moisture in the spring of 19. What do you mean had good moisture in the fall? It, it snow? rained. It, it rained. rained. And then we had snow throughout the winter. <laughs> Which puts moisture in the ground. Yep. And this ground and holds nutrients it. nutrients in the mm -hmm. ground. Okay. So this year and you just didn't have that? We didn't have moisture last fall. A lot of our wheat didn't even come out of the ground till this spring. It's supposed to come up in the fall. Right. It grows up. It kind of looks like a you know, brand new grass. Nice yep. green grass. Yep. Yeah. Because that's what wheat and is. It's a grass. Right. And uh, then it... So it was thin to start with, and uh -huh. then we had a very late freeze somewhere around the first of April? May. Oh, first May. May. That is late. No, I'm lying to you. When was it? Late April, early May? Yeah, it was early April, I think. We had a late, I mean, hard freeze, like down to 15 degrees, two nights in a row. And that's, what and does that do? It just killed a whole lot of the weed out. It killed so, the whole plant? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And a wheat puts tillers, and that's where you get your moisture. So you have like one main stalk of wheat from one seed that you planted. Mm -hmm. Tillers is like maybe four or five other stalks grow off of that. Grass, grass stems. Yeah. If uh -huh. you would. Yeah. So mm -hmm. each of them will make a head and produce. So. So last year you had a lot of extra tillers. tillers. So therefore, one right. plant would make three or four heads. Yep. And so. This year, with that late, late freeze, mm -hmm. I want to say it was mid-April, and that's okay. kind of a guess without going back. Maybe I'll, I'll, was, I'll look it up it and maybe caption April. it here when it was. Below freezing temperatures across the state causing concern for Kansas wheat farmers. If those temperatures last long enough, they can cause irreversible damage to the wheat crop. Northwest Kansas saw some of the lowest temperatures. Regional reporter Grant DeMar spoke with farmers there who say it could take a while before they know the extent of damage ice inside of it that's probably not good i'd say right now we're probably looking at some crop damage a mid-april freeze isn't uncommon for kansas wheat farmers there's the old wives tale that wheat has nine lives but plainville farmer matt mccune says hours of freezing temperatures can do some damage it's not the fact that the fr the freeze was so late it was how cold it got for how long it got west kansas uh, we were below 24 degrees uh, in some locations for as much as 10 hours throughout a lot of the central part of the state we got below freezing for as, as much as uh, 13 hours in this video from claflin you can see ice inside of the wheat stem. There was water inside that plant, obviously in the form of either water or chloroform, and that froze, causing that ice in that hollow stem. McCune and Haig say the more mature the wheat crop is, the more damage freezing temperatures can cause. Right now, it's still too early to assess the damage. To assess how much damage we've incurred, it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, but what it did, it killed off a whole bunch of the tillers. So all you have is oh. that one plant. So it's a thin, so it's a, a thin, thin crop. Thin crop. Okay. It's just a crop that has struggled from last it's just fall. Just bad luck all the way through. Yeah. Right. So last year we cut a lot of 80, 90, 100 bushel wheat. This year we're going to cut a lot of 30 to maybe 40 bushel wheat. At 30 best. bushel per acre. Per acre. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. And that's not good. No, it don't okay. even pay the bills. I can remember back, well, my, I can remember my dad and my uncles and stuff talking about it. Back in the 40s and 50s, 30 bushel an acre was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Back then. But back today, then. that's just terrible. That's, that's, that's a, a failed crop. Today, today, we need 50 bushel just to break even. Okay. And, you know, so last year we made a lot of money. This mm -hmm. year, we will lose a lot of money. That's right. Welcome to farming. Yeah. So what you do on farming, you, you, you average it out over six or seven or ten years. Ten years, yeah. Uh, okay. And we planted a lot of fall crops, meaning corn, uh -huh. milo, sorghum. Right. So we just hope that... Here's the old girl. We have good fall crops. Turn the camera around. 
What did you have done to the uh, to the truck? Oh, a clutch brake was uh -huh. bad on it. So right. It was we, bad last year. Yeah. Well, we put a new one in since then, mm -hmm. um, and it's bad again. So we stuck another new clutch brake in it. Okay. So, uh, so anyway, I want to go fire her up so she starts building air pressure. All right. Well, anyway, you've heard it from the boss, man. We uh, we've got a hmm questionable harvest season this year on, on wheat now i guess the, the fall crops you know they just put those in a few weeks ago a month ago or whatever so i so far they're looking really good they've ha they've got rain in the right time for the fall crops but for the wheat crop wheat is actually a winter it's a winter wheat they, they plant it in the fall it grows up to like eight or six in, six or eight inches like tall grass and uh and then it goes dormant through the winter and through the winter all those roots kind of absorb nutrients and 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 uh, it gives it time to mature, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the plant gets good. So come springtime, it's ready, and you know, it's already a plant ready to go. Versus summer wheat, uh, you'd plant in the spring, and it grows through the through the summer. And uh, it just around here in most of America, uh, they they plant winter wheat. Okay, uh, I think there are other areas that they put uh, um, summer wheat in or spring wheat or whatever they call it. So this is Parker. Say hi, Parker. <laughs> It's his uh, grand, uh, Kirk's grandson. He's up from where do you live? Florida. Florida. Yeah. So they come up every year during harvest for for, for, uh, for from Florida. So anyway, Kirk's gonna get the the truck all uh, aired up, and we're gonna take it out to the shop. And uh, I'll get back with you tomorrow. On uh, um, I've got a new 360 camera, and I'm hoping I can get some pretty cool shots with that. I got the Insta 360 One R, and um, I'm going to see if I can't get some pretty cool shots with that. It's it's a camera that I can stick into different areas that uh, I can't do with other other cameras like like this one here. It's a it's a this is a Removu K1. It's a gimbal camera. It's got a the, the shaft here that is that I've got a little view screen right below. Here's the camera up here and then right below it here there's a view screen. And when I turn the thing back and forth, see the the, the gimbal softens everything up. So I'm turning it side to side like this, you know, and it, it keeps the camera nice. It's a gimbal, okay? It keeps the camera nice and level. Uh, the 360 camera, when I turn this one upside down, though, when I get to a certain point, it messes everything up, okay? And the gimbal goes bad. So I got to reset it. So I got to reset it all the time. And there's all kinds of shots where I want to, you know, take the camera and stick it in somewhere. But because it's a gimbal, I got to shut it off, turn the gimbal upside down, turn it back on, and let it re resynchronize itself in an upside down manner, and shoot. And by the time I do that, that shot opportunity is gone. Okay, a lot of times. So the uh, Insta360, I can just stick it somewhere. I just you just walk around like a wand, and then edit it later. In in your editing software, you point the camera where you want to look because it shoots in every direction you know like a sphere so anyway hopefully i can get some pretty cool shots with that i, I got a clamp that i can clamp it onto the bottom of the uh, uh the drone so i can fly the drone and i don't have to worry about turning the drone to keep the camera you know pointing right at the subject i can just fly like this you know i can just fly you know like this the camera's not even looking on the gim on, on the drone camera but the the 360 will be hanging below it and I can just fly by something, and then when I go to edit, I can turn the camera internally in the editing software, and I think I can get some pretty cool shots that way, hopefully. So, anyway, that's what's upcoming in the next week or so. Um, uh, wheat harvest won't take very long this year because, uh, as Kirk said, we'll be able to fly through it. Uh, another thing is last year he had, I don't know how many, oh, here he comes now, I'll ask him, but he didn't put as many acres in of, of uh, wheat. Um, how many... How many acres of wheat did you put in this year? Uh, what? How many acres of wheat did you put in last fall? Uh, somewhere around 1,100, I think. Okay, the year before, how many did you put in? I don't remember. There was more. About you this, put less. I thought well, you said you were putting less, less in this year. Last fall, I think. I, 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 thought, you, I thought you said last uh, summer you, you put in fewer acres of uh, wheat, wheat for this harvest. Yeah, I think we're... I think we're around 1100 maybe a thousand eleven hundred last okay. year wasn't we around 13 yeah that's 14, what i'm thinking yeah. something like that so now not only is there i'm talking about time wise last year it took about two weeks to do two and a half weeks to do harvest Three almost yeah whereas yeah. this year probably take a week because we don't have as many acres it's a thinner crop so the combine can go a lot faster 
and there will probably be a lot of areas you just kind of skip over because it's just not worth cutting. And you know, we in won't some have to wait on slow truck drivers this year. <laughs> Listen to it. Right. With that, Parker, can you say can you say peace out? Peace, peace out, out, brother. Peace out. Peace, man. <laughs>